Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another BJ and Co. Destiny video. Today is Friday, August 28th, 2015, which means it's our day. So we're going to show you exactly where he's hiding in the tower and what he's got for you this week. So follow me. I'm hoping that uh, you all have some great luck and Zer brings you something that you need to round out your loadout before the Taken King drops. We're about two and a half weeks away, so uh, the hype is getting real. I hope you're all enjoying the Twitch streams that are coming out and uh, all those nice reveals about all the cool stuff that's coming down the road. So here he is in the hangar just off to the right, and what has he got for us this week? Bum bum bum! We have the Peregrine Greaves for the Titan with a intellect of 140 this is lower than what he sold it for back in june uh carry more ammo for heavy weapons pretty common on a lot of the legs uh, and shoulder charge deals bonus damage when activated in the air situational very situational but uh, could be entertaining to pick up if you like to use a lot of shoulder charge by far not my favorite pickup for titan um, for the Hunter, we have Crest the Alpha Lupi with a strength roll of 147 and kind of mid-range. Uh, back in June, did sell one for one strength 158, which is pretty decent. Um, but definitely on the high side of what it's sold for. If you're, if you have this, this may be a bit of an upgrade for you. Um, this is, again, situational. Ride teammates faster, spawn more orbs, carry more ammo for special weapons and hand cannon ammo. Um... Definitely something to think about for Trials of Osiris, the revive faster. Um, but again, situational, there's much, tends to be the helm for the hunters, tend to be a lot better. The Celestial Nighthawk, the Aquifage Symbiote, Mask of the Third Band. Um, for the Warlock, we have the Apothis Veil. Uh, this one's running with a discipline of 109. So this one looks like it's on the low side of what it's sold for. 117, 114, it's been up. Um, melee, hit, melee hits replenish grenade energy, replenish health when you pick up an orb, and activating super regenerates health. Again, situational, good for like um, PvE activities like Crota's End uh, with all that health regen in there. Um, but there's better ones that will boost your super um, than this. So again, nothing, nothing amazing this week armor-wise. We also have gun for the Plan C. It's an uh, exotic fusion rifle with arc damage. Charge and equip times are very short immediately when you swap to this weapon. Uh, and this weapon gains bonus accuracy when firing from the hip. If you like fusion rifles, this one's cool because you, as soon as you swap to it, you're basically ready to fire it once you have that Plan C perk, um, which is really awesome if you're in a tight spot. But overall, um, I find I don't get a lot of use out of this one. So it's overall, it's kind of a meh week. Um, we have the exotic shard, as always, and exotic engrams for 23 modes of light. Um, good to roll on if you are still looking for something. I'm actually going to be running this on my Warlock quite a bit because I'm looking for one last exotic, the Sunbreakers, and I'm done. Even though Zer's sold them plenty, and I just have been a noob and picked them up. So... In terms of Curios, we've got Auto Rifle, Telemetry, Pulse Rifle, Telemetry, Scout Rifle, Telemetry, Plasma Drive, Emerald Coil, and the Heavy Ammo Synthesis. So that's what he has this week, guys. Um, I'm not picking up any of these lovely things except for that Engram. Uh, but what are you picking up? Did you finally get uh, something you haven't been looking for? Or upgrading something? I would love to hear what you've got to say. Also, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to smash that like button um, or check us out on our social media. We've got Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, all that fun stuff. Check out BJ and Co. Um, but thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you all next time.